So I noticed lately a hot topic on YouTube is monthly dividend and monthly dividend investing. And being that I'm a dividend investor and I do own several monthly dividend uh, companies, I figured today we can go over three of them in my portfolio that I really enjoy and I think it's gonna do very well over the next uh, few months and the next few years. So this is three monthly dividends that you can start investing today on Robinhood. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Michael Romero. Um, if you don't know who I am, I am a small time YouTuber, small time investor, just trying to do some big things with this channel and with my portfolio. And I'm here to teach you guys everything that I've learned and hopefully learn something from you in return. And uh, all you gotta do to help me out is just smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm and hit that red subscribe button if you already hadn't, but if you already have, thank you so much. <clears throat> so the three stocks we're gonna be going over today, uh, well, one of them isn't a stock. One of them is uh, something else, but you'll, you'll see in a, in a minute. This is the first one I'm gonna talk about. But um, these three stocks are monthly paying. They are uh, well-known, well, mostly well-known, and definitely growing currently and they all have a dividend growth some of them more than others but you'll see in a minute all right guys let's go ahead we're gonna go ahead jump into the portfolio and uh what we're gonna do is i'm gonna go over these three and tell you guys why i enjoy them why i like them and why i'm looking forward to adding more positions in these three so the first of the three is sphd which is actually an etf if you don't know what an ETF is, it's an exchange traded fund. It's just a conglomerate of several different companies uh, just bundled into one. So SPHD, as you can see here, over the past month, three months, it's kind of been slipping a little bit, but it's okay. Over the past year, it's up. And over the past five years, it is up. But I'm not necessarily looking for, um, not necessarily looking for gains for this, but more or less for dividend income and monthly dividend income. And the good thing about monthly dividend income, it's, it's uh, monthly dividend paying stocks. It's more of a psychological thing, especially when you're first starting out, you kind of want to see your money adding up and your money coming in. So that's why I chose these for my uh, portfolio in the beginning, especially. Now, uh, I have to say this is a disclaimer. This is all for, uh, all for entertainment purposes. I have no way shape or form telling you to invest in any of these stocks. This is just for entertainment, guys. Uh, I don't want y'all to go out there and do the exact same thing I do. You have to um, go over the stocks yourself. But anyway, so as you can see here, I own 10 shares in this bad boy. Now, market cap of 61 billion. Really, if it's under a billion, um, market cap it's really a small company and I, I don't really want to get involved in anything that small for my dividend um, portfolio now in my growth portfolio my m1 finance portfolio i'd be willing to do so but for this i need more of a um, risk management type of uh, picking with when i come to picking the stocks i don't want something that small but as you can see here pe ratio is five is a PE ratio is 22%, which is not bad for this ETF um, with a dividend yield of 4.236. As you can see here, we're gonna go over, dividend that's paid itself is 15 point, this is point fifteen five six cents. So 15 and a half cents roughly. But coming down to it, if you don't know what SPHD is, it is power shares sp power shares sp 500 high dividend low volatility so sphd tracks a dividend yield weight index comprising the 50 least volatile names chosen from a short list of the s p 500's 75 highest dividend yield securities so this is a the 50 least uh dividend 50 least volatile names out of the 70 uh, five highest dividend paying companies and uh, just 
you can go and figure out and look at all the holdings that they're in but they do have some big names in here as well as some smaller ones that i'm not really too aware of but check it out some of the big names are iron mountain inc at&t you all know what at&t is and philip morrison international <clears throat> sphd is a a decent etf to get started in, especially if you want to see that monthly dividend income it's fairly safe as you can see like i said it it, it moves more of sideways, but sideways and up. It's not uh, not very volatile. Um, the annualized payout is $1.87. So divide that by 12, and that's where you get your monthly dividend income. And the dividend growth, it, it's, it's grown the past two years. It's, it's growing slowly. Hopefully it continues the pattern of growth um, over the next you know couple years or so. Well, as long as it continues to grow, I'll continue to stay in it. All right, guys, next we have Stag Industrial. And I'm actually a big fan of this one. I've owned this for quite a while in one of my other uh, portfolios. Um, but Stag Industrial, as you can see here, it's it, over the past week, it's going up. Past month, it's going up. Three months, it's up. One year and five years, it is up 26%. Not too volatile, but somewhat. Um, I actually have a pending, uh, pending uh, dividend. I actually have a pending dividend for this bad boy here, and it's 12 cents a share. I only own five uh, shares. I am looking forward into getting. Um, am looking forward into getting more shares of this company, but it is close to all-time highs. As you can see here, 52-week highs, $33, and we're at $32. So. I could average my price up, but we'll see where it takes us. With a market cap of four billion, almost five billion dollars, not too bad. PE ratio, <laughs> pretty high for this company, but it was, uh, it's an IPO of I think 2012 or 2013 or 2010 maybe. I'm not sure when the IPO was. It was in uh, 2010, 2011, 2012, something like that. But the growth of the over, it's been growing every year over the past five to six years, um, or pretty much since it's been an IPO. Since it's gone public, it has grown every year. And this is considered a uh, REIT. Well, I would consider it a REIT because it is, it is in the real estate uh, industry. I guess some other people wouldn't call it that, but that's pretty much what it is. Now, if you don't know what this Stag Industrial does. So Stag Industrial is a real estate investment trust which focuses on acquisition, ownership, and operation of single tenant industrial properties throughout the United States. The company was founded by Benjamin S. Butcher on July 25th, 2010, headquarters in Boston, Massachusetts. So basically they own warehouses and manufacturing buildings, those big, big, big buildings where they manufacture things and store things and deliver stuff, all of that. Now, I did do some further uh, research into the company uh, quite some time ago, and they were looking into getting, having uh, Amazon as one of their, their customers. Uh, but I haven't really seen any information that, that they are their customers. It's kind of hard to find the information on that. I did a couple Google searches. I don't think I'm looking in the right place for it. I looked on the investor relations also, but it doesn't really tell you too much. But what it does tell you is the top industries that they are providing these buildings for are auto components, building, manufacturing, or um, distributing them, air, air freight and logistics and commercial services and supplies, which would be um, big commercial you know, service buildings like uh, Walmart or some, something like that. Maybe not Walmart, but supplies, shipping, delivering, all that. Um, um, annualized payout is a dollar and 44 cents per year per share, and the dividend has grown the past nine years. So pretty much since this IPO, the dividend has grown, which is great. Um, like I said, the PE ratio is pretty high and the payout is, is pretty good, but I do believe that they will continue to grow and grow. Now, their, <laughs> their strategy is, is pretty cool, how they do it. Their strategy for acquiring everything and, and how they make their money is pretty sweet. So they basically buy or 
build these big buildings and they have these companies come in and rent them from them or they sell them or buy them or whatever. Now, what they've been doing is they've been buying on the outskirts cities of big cities. So smaller cities around bigger cities, they've been doing it there. But just recently, they've been aggressively buying closer toward those bigger cities. So I definitely think when the, those big cities are expanding and branching out, um, they they pretty much did they, they did it the right way instead of starting in the middle of the city they started on the outskirts that way they kind of took over um the future prospects of real estate right at least in my mind that's how i figure it works but i definitely believe that they are going to be growing over the next few years um this is a great stock to get into i hope it goes on sale pretty soon so i could buy a few more shares of this bad boy because i really i really want to get my uh Dollar cost average, at least lower, but if not, then I definitely want to add more shares to this at a more decent price than what it is now. And last, we have O, oh, Realty Income, guys. And I know a lot of you know Realty Income. This is another great REIT. As you can see here, over the past month, it's up 8%. Over the past three months, it's up 4%. Over the past year, it's up 14% and over the past five years, it's up 28 bucks, which is 56%. That is crazy, guys. If you don't know what realty income is, I'm gonna go ahead and read you this right now. It was founded in 1969 also, so it's a pretty well-established company. So Realty Income Corporation is a real estate company which engages in generating dependable monthly cash dividends from a consistent and predictable level of cash flow from properties. It operates through rental through rental segment and the company was founded in 1969 so the great thing about this company not only is that the business model is you know getting these these buildings and these properties and having other people buy it from them or rent it from them they they're not just in one sector they're in 49 different sectors 49 different industries so it's not just like they own restaurants they own restaurants they own um residential they own you know they own like apartment buildings they own like walgreens they own rest you know things like that they own retail they own <laughs> restaurants they own all these different types of in these different types of industries. I'm sure they do some industrial stuff too. But listen, some of the top tenants that they include are Dollar General, Walmart, Walgreens, Dollar Tree, Family Dollar, 7-Eleven, uh, FedEx, stuff like that, guys. And as you know, the level of consumerism in the US is growing. So I feel like these, are, these guys are gonna continue to grow, especially since they're so branched out. Even if one area or one industry starts to slack some, they still have the opportunity to gain and, and grow in these other industries. So they're doing a good job at this, guys. With a market cap of 25 billion, this is a strong company. Yeah, the PE ratio is 61.5%, but they're still, they're still uh, profitable, guys. As you can see here in the earnings, over the past few earnings, they've been very profitable. But, uh, dividend yield is 3.5, which isn't too bad, but for a monthly paying dividend, it's pretty great. And they pay 23 cents a share. Um, great thing about this company though. So annualized payout is $2.79 a year. So you divide that by 12, you get 23 cents per share per year. But the dividend growth, the dividend growth has, the dividend has been growing over for the past 24 years consecutively. So that means one, they're one year away from becoming a dividend aristocrat, guys. And that's, what, that's why I say Realty Income is a great company for me to invest in because they are exactly what I'm looking for. They're well diversified. They've been around for a while. The dividend yield is decent and their dividend growth, I know they're gonna continue to grow. They wanna get that aristocrat and hopefully dividend king uh, stat pretty soon. So, well, dividend aristocrat pretty soon and maybe stat, you know, dividend king of in 25 more years. Who knows? But look, guys, these are definitely three. These are definitely three uh, monthly dividend paying stocks that I am looking forward to adding more shares to in the next coming months. These aren't the only ones 
that I do own in my portfolio. I do own more, you guys know that, if you've been following this channel. If you haven't, go ahead and <laughs> click that red subscribe button. But look, um, these to me are some of the stronger ones in my portfolio. I mean, they're, my other ones are, they're all strong, but I definitely wanna add more shares to this. I am lacking in shares in these and I wanna build my positions up over the next few months if, uh, you know, the price permits me to do it. <clears throat> but look guys, um, but look guys, if you agree with me with adding more shares into these three, go ahead and let me know in the comments below and let me know what other monthly dividend stocks that you guys are in. If you're in any monthly dividend stocks, I think monthly dividend stocks are good, like I said, for beginners, because you get to kind of see that income coming in and it's more of a psychological thing than it is anything else, but it does help. At least it helped for me in the beginning. And guys, look, we are still doing that, that giveaway, that contest. Um, I will be releasing the name of the winner next week in my, in my video next week, guys. So if you find value out of this, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button for the YouTube algorithm because it helps me more than you guys know. And also, if you're still watching this video and you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button to join this little community we got going on, guys. But look, I gotta get out of here. But if you wanna continue your journey to financial enlightenment, all you have to do is click one of these videos. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Y'all have a great day.